Hi, this is Nicole Nessler, Occupational Therapist. Um, this week what I want to show you is a fun bilateral coordination activity. Um, so using both of your hands together. Um, one of the things that um, younger kids often struggle with is using both of their hands together in a functional manner. Um, and one of the things that we work on for that is um, stringing beads. Um, if you don't have those objects at home, there's still really fun ways to work on that. Um, and I'll let me just show you what you might need for this activity. And then I'll show you how to do it. So, um, old paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls, um, scissors to cut them um, into smaller sizes, a black marker, um, tape, two old food containers that you've washed out, and just small little toys that can um, pass through the size of a paper towel or a toilet paper roll. Um, so let me just show you how this will work. So um, you can do this either on the table, um, like tape to a piece of paper and make your own cool racetrack. You don't have to use cars for that. You can race other things too, but if you have cars, awesome. Um, so if that's a motivating toy for your child, I definitely recommend trying that. Um, or you can also put it up on the wall. You don't have to do a racetrack. Um, you would just put some tape right there um, on either side and make your own kind of maze. Um, and just to the same for this too. It's really simple. You're just putting tape down and then once I put the toilet paper or paper towel rolls on there, I, um, I just draw in my track around it. I like to have the track starting from one side of the paper and ending on the other. And then the reason for that is because I'll put all of my animals on the left side, so on my left over here. Um, and the reason I like to start on the left is generally when we have um, kind of a setup like this, we like to start on the left and on the right. It's because it's the um, just the natural way we do things. Um, we read from left to right. We right from left to right. We do a lot of things left to right. So it just supports that functional scanning pattern and is also really, um, it's got a concrete beginning and end then. I have all my toys to pass through there on the left and then I'll know I'm done when they're all on the right. Um, so for example, you'll just go through, you pass with the left to the right hand and then I'm going through the racetrack, go, go, go. So you can again encourage your child um, root them on and this will be pretty fun. Um, and then once they get all the way through the racetrack, you go in and, you know, again, just be really encouraging. Yay, he won! And he goes in and again, you can do it with the other. Or again, if you don't want to do it um, on the piece of paper, the wall is a really great way. Another reason that this is nice up on the wall is because it supports that upper extremity, um, upper extremity and shoulder girdle strengthening. Um, so if that's something that your child needs to work on, this is really great um, because then they've got their arms up against gravity and they're um, working hard. Um, and so again, you can just pass it like that. And you can have containers on um, either side of that, but you don't need to. Just whatever works. Again, just play, have fun, experiment, uh, do whatever works for you. Um, if you're having a hard time um, getting your child engaged with, with this activity or if you need a um, modification for the activity, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd be really happy to find a way to make this uh, great for your child. Uh, my email's right below. Just reach out to me and I look forward to hearing from you and I hope it goes great.